Hi, this is Rick Sandberg. I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems in our Portland, Oregon office. In this blog, I'm going to discuss one of my favorite SOLIDWORKS features, the speed pack, in a little known or discussed benefit of using it. This is an important topic that I don't hear discussed often enough. Whether you are a one-person operation or a multi-million dollar corporation, if you are doing design in a CAD application, especially a 3D CAD application, that CAD data represents a valuable asset. Sometimes representing many hundreds or even thousands of man hours of work, it is your intellectual property or IP. Anytime that data leaves your control, this valuable asset can potentially be compromised. But many times, it has to leave your control in one form or another for clients, vendors, manufacturers, what have you. Fortunately, if you are doing your design in SOLIDWORKS, we have some options to limit how much of this data is distributed. For instance, we have the defeature command. We can also have the ability to save the assembly as a part document, which removes the feature tree and also allows some control over how much of your assembly is saved out. Or you can save the part document out as a neutral format which again removes the feature tree. But one of the best and safest methods available is to use the SOLIDWORKS speed pack feature. So speed pack was introduced in 2009. It creates a simplified configuration of an assembly document that allows us to explicitly set how much of the CAD data is saved in that configuration with the remaining parts only saved as graphical data. In other words, the faceted representation of your CAD data that gets sent to your graphics board. The main utility of this functionality is for increased performance with large assemblies. With most of the data being just graphics and only a small portion of it being CAD data, data there is far less drain on your CPU and memory. So performance help is great, but how does it help protect your IP? Well, clearly, if most of the data is just graphic data and not CAD data, then your CAD data is protected because the graphics data can only be viewed. No way to measure it, 3D print it, or really anything else. But an added benefit is that none of the reference documents are required to travel along with your assembly document. So not only does this protect your IP, but it also decreases your file management responsibilities. In this assembly, we have detailed sub-assemblies included with all of their components and all the details. So not only is, um, does it require a pack and go command to include all those documents so the assembly can be opened properly by somebody else, but whoever receives this assembly has most of the details of your product. But what if the only things needed at this assembly level and the next are a few faces that are used for interfacing? then we can create a speed pack of that subassembly that only includes those faces and none of the other components. Let's see how that works. I can do it either at that subassembly level or I could do it at this top level assembly. There's my subassembly. I can right click on it and under the right click is speed pack options create mated speed pack. And within just a few seconds I've created a speed pack version of this subassembly that you can see includes none of its components. If I look at it with my speed pack um, ghost circle, you can see only the faces that are being saved with this are the ones interfacing with that next level assembly. I can even see that back at the top level assembly. If I roll over it, the only faces that were saved are the ones interfacing at this assembly level. So there you go. Rather than sending all of the products, oh, all the components of that assembly, you can send only the subassembly and it will include only those faces needed for interfacing at the next level components. Brilliant. If you want to protect your valuable IP in the form of CAD data, I suggest you incorporate the speed pack functionality into your CAD workflow. It's quick, easy, and can protect your assets. For more helpful videos like this, please subscribe to our Hawkridge YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.